Hey guys, the good people over at Stone sent me a package the other day. Their latest nationwide beer. Buena Vesa, a salt and lime lager. Yes, lager and stone. This beer comes in at a 4.7% ABV. A unavailable IBUs, it gets an average rating on an untapped of 3.60. In 1996, Stone Brewing was founded in San Diego County, just minutes from the border. Since then, influence from our southern neighbors has enriched and inspired us on our undying mission to brew bold, flavorful beers. It's with much gusto we present our latest creation, Stone Buena Vesa Salt and Lime Lager. Save the lime wedge for your fish tacos. This one's already brewed with real lime and sea salt. Capturing the spirit of our hometown, we know when it comes to Mexican style lagers, there are few big beer brands that come to mind. But at 4.7% and loaded with this much flavor, we feel pretty confident this will be your new go-to for backyard cookouts and neighborhood parties. Once those are safe and responsible to partake again, of course, thanks to the other Mexican beer. So let's check out Stone Buena Vesa's Salt Lime Lager. Now I have to state this, I'm a big Stone fan. Just about everything Stone does, I usually like. Uh, but they're known for doing big, bold IPAs and big flavored beers. And I'm not that big of a lager fan in general. So we'll see what this does. Let's check it out. Uh, right away, it's a very light straw looking color. Uh, crisp, uh, the head retention wasn't too long it, and it's fluffy white, um, but it looks very appealing. It almost has like a yellow, slight, slight green tint to it. It's kind of interesting. Aroma just smells like a pilsner, very biscuity. There's some lime in there, maybe a hint of salt, but that could just be me being tricked by the description. But I do get lime, I get some kind of citrusy that's not hops, and there's not a whole lot of funk to it where Mexican lagers kind of have a funky aroma to it. So let's check it out. Okay, uh, you taste the lime, I'll, I'll give you that. It's light, it's a very light lime. The lime is almost like a watered down, like what you get out of a seltzer. It's, it's, it's there and it dies out quickly. You smell a lot of the lime and the initial lime flavor is very, very upfront. And then that cerveza, that corn-esque uh, lager kind of really comes in. It's not horrible. It actually, oh, there's a little bit of lime and salt at the back and I mean, a uh, hair, it lingers, it comes in on the aftertaste. Um, that's an interesting thing. It's almost like if I licked the salt rim off of a margarita and waited 10 minutes, I still tasted it. That's what the lingering flavor of this kind of tastes like. I, I don't know if I like this or not. I mean, you definitely, you, the more I drink it, the more I taste lime. The more I think about it, the more I dissect it, it it's, a hint of lime zest in the aroma. When you drink it, there's a little bit of lime. And then there's that Mexican cerveza. Now, again, I'm not a fan of lagers and I'm actually even less of a fan of Mexican lagers. Um, they just, just growing up bad memories. That's basically probably it. It's just all right. I do like more maltier German style Vienna lagers and things like that. Um, not the more American style crisp, clean, biscuity. I'm not a fan of that. And this being a Mexican lager has a bit more of that corn-esque to it. It really does remind me though of like, I need to have a taco. I need to have some burritos or a fajita or something like that. I think it probably would go really good. I taste quality in it compared to all the other Mexican style, big domestic ones. This is really good. I don't have to squeeze a lime into it. It tastes like I've already squeezed a lime into it. I can pick out every flavor that they have stated on this can or in any description. So I give it props for that. I give it props for tasting way better than any cerveza lager. But would I drink this? Now, the more and more I do drink it, the more and more I do taste quality. Again, not horrible. It has just enough fruit flavor in it to possibly, you know, get more of the people that do like the hard seltzer or a little bit of a fruitier beers. 
but there's enough cerveza flavor in here to also get those people that want like a beer with tacos or a barbecue beer or something like that, you know, a beach beer. I can see it on both those aspects. If someone had this in a cooler, I would drink it. I'd probably grab one if it was a hot day. Yeah, I would be fine with it. Even if there was an IPA next to it, I'd probably go for the IPA first, but then I'd probably drink this second. It's light, it has flavor, I taste quality in it. Is it my favorite stone beer? No, it's not my favorite stone beer. Because they're just, you know, it's, it's not necessarily what I know stone to be. But I love the fact that they really pushed everything about them. I love the can art. The can art I think is awesome. I think it's way cooler than the bottle art. Check that out. It's whole like day of the dead. It's, it's freaking awesome. Um, a stack of these would look so cool next to each other. It's a really cool can art. I think Stone knocked it out on the park on that. So if you're tired of cutting up limes and putting them in those other cervezas, check out Stone's Buena Vesa. It might just be everything you want in a Mexican style beer. And heck, if your friends like IPAs, well, you know Stone's good for that too. Give it a shot. Cheers guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Hit like and subscribe. Check out my social media stuff. The links will be at the very bottom of the description. While you're down there, go ahead and leave a comment or two. Have you had this beer? Did you like this video? What do you think of Stone? What do you like about Mexican lagers? What do you dislike about Mexican lagers? I'll see you in the next one.